So I think the uh, next logical step would be to do these positives here. So this positive goes to here. So you have marked the negative there. So positive from here to here, from there to there, and from there to there. And I think I'm going to solder myself a little bit of a, I'm going to solder a little bit up to the side here. Simply so I can have a bit more space to solder the wire to, and if I lift the pad, it's less of a big deal. Since we. That's a lifted pad. <laughs> Phenomenal. Chop that off. Don't forget, even if all else fails, I still have the actual post I can solder to. So now all the positives should be linked, so that's good. So positive, let's see, from switch middle, middle pin, yeah, switch middle pin to here, switch middle pin to there, switch middle pin to there, switch middle pin to there. That is nice. Then we've got positive to here, positive to here, positive to here. This one just goes straight through. Okay, that's good. So. I can do the easy part now, which is the uh, negative wire here, here, and here, which should be linked up to this. Uh, then the difficult part, getting these negatives down onto here. I could use the solid core wire for that. I think I may. I think I might do that. So let's do these negatives first. I'm just not sure where I should pick up the negative from. This is all positive over here. That's the one negative pin there, and that's another negative pin there. Probably do... I'll probably try to... I'll try to solder onto this guy. I, it's probably going to fly off. But we're going to try anyways. And I'm not sure if this wire can actually fit through, like if 22 gauge wire can fit through the hole. It would be really good if it could. Let's see. It does just barely. That's good. Okay. So I will take from here, give myself a little bit of length pass it through the hole. Once it's through the hole, I'll solder to it and then distribute it. So I probably want it to pop out somewhere around here or here. No, probably one end. I want it to come out maybe here. And then I can run there, there, and there. Okay, so let's give this a shot. There's my wire. I'm going to pre tin this here. I should actually pre tin all of them. Okay, I'm going to tin the tip of this. Now 
this is really where the tweezers shine. I'm just going to trim the very tip of this wire. Maybe about here. My shaky boys. Whoops, just missed. Am I still in shot? Sorta. Of. Really be useful if I had something to hold this board. That should just about do it, and I can connect my wire to the actual wire portion. Okay, so now I need a little bit small length of wire here. Just chop a big section off there. Twist it up all nice. Cut it about here, maybe a bit further than I was expecting. I should pre-tin the ends. Okay, ends are pre-tinned. I'm going to solder from easiest to hardest, I think. So this should be coming off at an angle. It can't, it, it, it can't short. If it shorts, it's game over. So I'm going to put it at a nice little angle like that. Be patient, wait for it to solidify uh, I've got too much solder on this wire it will not bend that's not a good thing I will deal with it taking risks here bending it like that but um, this whole project is a risk, so you know what do you uh, what do you want? What'd you expect? No, nope, that's not good. Bend it maybe here, like that, and then back over. Try to make a little hitch in it, like that. It needs to go like down, like that, and then back. A little bit of pretending there. Let's see if I can get this to sit down. It's actually soldered itself down. Very nice. Okay, and then all I have to do is to solder these two together, trim the end, and this portion is done. Just got to make sure it stays away from the positive, but it should. I got to be careful too so that it doesn't actually lift off the uh, the board. Those two should be soldered together. Yes, they are. Trim the end off. Just make sure that this has some clearance between it and the board. Yeah, everything is clear. Well, that was stressful. 
So we pretty much have all the positive side connected and we've got these grounds all hooked up to each other. Um, there's one thing I just noticed though. This is the module here. If you look at the in minus and the out minus, the negative on both sides, right? So this one and this one, that would be this one and this one. Uh, if you look at them, this whole ground plane is just a shared ground and you can prove that I'll put, take my multimeter, put it into resistance, put it on the resistance buzzer. So when you touch these two things together, right, they, it beeps, makes quite an annoying beep. Touch these. Uh, yeah, so I can't hold it in permanently, obviously, but uh, they're linked. I'm going to see if I can make them work without having to hook up the negative here. We're just going to take sort of this negative here and just daisy chain it to the other ones and see if that works and if it does well makes my job uh, quite a bit easier actually so that's pretty good let me try that now so I'm gonna take some wire I'm gonna cut it so it needs to go a little bit longer because I can't be touching the positives all, all these guys are positive here so that one, that one, that one, and that one. So, I, but I can just use bare wire. I just have to be very careful not to short them. In the uh, in the final design of this, for sure, I promise every every ground will be connected, every positive will be connected, everything will be nice. But for this, I'm just trying to see if we can get it to work. And so, I think cautiously optimistic here. I think we are done. So let me bring this back down onto my regular workbench instead of this lifted surface, and. We will see if we can get this to work at all.